cupola furnace. For many years, the cupola was the primary method of melting used in iron foundries. The cupola furnace has several unique characteristics which are responsible for its widespread use as a melting unit for cast iron. These are as follows. The cupola is the only method of melting which is continuous in its operation. It also has high melt rates. At the same time, it also has relatively low operating costs. It enables ease of operation. Now we will see how the cupola furnace is constructed. The top of the stack is capped with a spark of fume arrester hood which prevents the explosion of the cupola furnace due to the creation of high pressure inside. The charge is introduced into the furnace body by means of an opening approximately halfway up the vertical shaft. The charge consists of alternate layers of the metal to be melted, coke fuel and limestone flux, which rests on the charging floor. The purpose of adding the flux is to eliminate the impurities and protect the metal from oxidation. The construction of a conventional cupola consists of a vertical steel shell which is lined with a refractory brick. An air blast is introduced through the wind box and tubers located near the bottom of the cupola. The air reacts chemically with the fuel, thus producing heat of combustion. The fuel is burnt in air which is introduced through tubers positioned above the hearth. The hot gases generated in the lower part of the shaft ascend and preheat the descending charge. Cupolas have a drop bottom type water cooled grate with hinged doors under the hearth, which filter the molten metal and the metal is dropped to the bottom chamber. There is tap hole at the bottom of the cupola furnace to pour out the molten metal.